So you've spotted an image that really caught your eye and you're asking, how can I make something like that? Perfect question. And this video has the answers. Today we're exploring in mid journey, but your inspiration image could have come from anywhere. It might be created in another AI image generator, or maybe it's not AI art at all. In this video, I'll walk you through some ways to help recreate the style you admire. Will your piece be an exact copy of your inspiration image? Probably not, but can you get close? Absolutely. Along the way, you'll add your own unique spin on the image, and that's where the true magic happens. We'll start off talking about prompts and scenes, then dive into image to image prompting, and then we'll round things off using the describe tool in mid journey. You've got a whole toolbox of techniques ready to help you achieve that perfect look. If your inspiration image is AI and you have the prompt, you're probably thinking this should be easy. Just run the prompt through the AI and boom, instant masterpiece. But it's not that simple, is it? Take a look at this mid journey prompt. Seems simple, right? You've got the mid journey prompt, you run it in mid journey and surprise. It's a cool image, but it's not exactly what you had in mind. We need to take a second and talk about seeds. Each image is a unique blend of a prompt and a seed. If you don't specify a seed, the AI will just pick one randomly. Your seed is different, and that's why your image looks different from the original. And here's the thing, Midjourney doesn't let you copy the seed unless you're the creator of the image. This keeps you from duplicating the image exactly. But isn't that what we're trying to do here? We just need to get a little bit crafty and think outside the box. If you're running a Midjourney prompt in Midjourney, give it a few rerolls. Each time you roll, Midjourney mixes it up and pulls out a new random seed. And if you want to run a lot of different variations really fast, use the dash dash repeat parameter and choose a number from two to 10. You can get up to 40 different images with one prompt. It's a roll of the dice. You probably won't hit the jackpot and get the same seed as the original image, but maybe one of those seeds will nail the look you're after, or you might even like one better than the original. But what if you're using another AI image generator? Each AI image generator has its own unique look and interprets your prompt in its own unique way. Midjourney's style is pretty strong, and that's what we like about it. Try running a Midjourney prompt in another AI image generator like Leonardo AI or Blue Willow, and you'll see a totally different image. So having the prompt gives you a head start on the creative process, but it's not a guarantee that you'll get an exact match. But we have another trick up our sleeves image to image prompting. When we create an AI image, we're not just limited to text. We can guide the AI with an image. It's like telling the AI, hey, make it look like this. Image to image is a great trick if you don't have the original prompt. Just get the image URL link. Don't worry if you don't have one. Drag the image into Discord, hit enter, and copy the link. Now use this link as part of your prompt. If you have the original AI prompt, put that in too. If not, just highlight the key features of the image that you really like. The image gives the AI a much better idea of what you're looking for. To pump up the influence of the image, use the dash dash IW or image weight parameter. Image weight lets Midjourney know how much emphasis to place on any image URLs in your prompt. By default, the image weight is set to 0.5, but you can make images more dominant by increasing the value to one or even two. Type dash dash IW after your prompt and add a one or a two for more emphasis. But sometimes describing the image can be a bit tricky. No problem. Midjourney has a tool to help you out, the slash describe tool. If you've not used the describe tool before, you're in for a treat. Simply type slash describe in the message bar and drag your inspiration image into the box. Midjourney tells you what it sees and generates four different prompts for you. 
Now, running these prompts won't give you an exact replica of the image, but you may find more inspiration. Try combining the best parts of the prompts. And then add an image link to the original image. And when you start getting close, make sure to look at the other images like this one, and you may find a prompt that will work. When you find an image that speaks to you, you have the tools to create your own unique version. There are tricks to getting much closer to your inspiration image. These aren't just copycats, these are your own personal take. Let us know your favorite imitation tricks in the comments below. If this video was helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen and Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.